everything was all for your ambitions? What do you mean by that? What did you do to open her in cannon line? You still don't get it. I was pulling the strings. Demodor Opener's aggressions were instigated by me. In other words, you were behind my father's change in personality? Wait, wait, hold up. I'm still processing. I thought Lord Mugai lost a Demodor Opener and died. My foresight isn't working. C4, can you take a look at his soul? Is this really the ultimate swordsman? Uh, that's the thing. I don't know either. There are so many souls squirming around, I don't even know which one is Mugai's. So you've been reduced to this, huh, Mugai? Demodor Opener and I crossed swords twice. And yes, I was overpowered the first time. He dealt me a crushing defeat. But when I wanted to die with dignity, he said, Killing you would be Baka. Let's stop fighting and be friends. <laughs> be friends with an enemy outsider. Stories of the Demodor scare small kids, but he's just like a certain nitwit. I knew it. I knew Father never intended to invade the Hinamoto he loves so dearly. That show of compassion to an opponent disgusted me. Such composure, such kindness. It made me angrier than I'd ever been before. That's why I forged myself and my followers into the seven founding weapons. It was all for revenge. I had to challenge him again. But, but I heard you still weren't a match for opener. You ended up dying. The widely accepted story is that you and your disciples challenged Opener again. The fact that you're alive means that... My father didn't kill Fuji's father. You must have won, Mugai. So why did you hide the truth? Opener seriously wounded me. I had to stay hidden in order to regain my full strength. But the biggest reason... I had to exploit his position to weed out these revolting values of responsibility, empathy, and Bushido from Hinomoto. I've hated Bushido from the very start. What a ridiculous concept. I can't even begin to express how much I despise it. That's it? You just hate Bushido? You went that far for such a stupid reason? Yes. I did it all to reform Hinomoto. I cursed Cannon Line with Empathy Killer and possessed Opener to control the Shogunate. The Demonic Fist, Zesho Mugai, has the ability to bind souls. It will rid the Netherworlds of weak demons. You heretic. You were behind Hinomoto's corruption and everything else that happened. It isn't corruption. By weeding out this useless empathy, I will restore Hinomoto to how another world should be. Oh, shut up already. I thought you died. But all this time, you've just been controlling Hinomoto from the shadows? Don't mess with me, you deadbeat. I'll use your demonic sword to send you where you belong, once and for all. Episode 12. Blood Feud, the battle against Mugai. You sure about this? I'll take your cash and your life. Zone. You're not getting away! You're not getting away! She has no hold on me! That attack wasn't bad, but it's useless against this immortal body of mine. For real? I thought we got him. 
but he's up again like nothing happened. It looks like he's using the souls inside of him to heal up, just like Kurofune and the Shirofunes. Our odds don't seem too good. After incorporating all those souls from Hell Springs, I have no weaknesses. That whelp is right. You face a futile struggle. Right now, we're basically up against someone with infinite continues. Of course Al shows up when we're busy! Wait... Grandpa? Eek! L look She's hugging him! Oh, I get it. It makes sense. If Fuji is Ao's dad, then Mugai's obviously her grandfather. What?! Glad to have you back, Ao. You're such a good child. Grandpa's okay here. Just leave it to me. Okay, got it. Ah, before I forget, Ow, this infernal treasure's for you. It's a reward for being such a good kid. Ow has incorporated the demonic bow into her body. That's like what happened with me. Is Al stronger now, Grandpa? Yes, of course. Now you can go and play with the Shogunate people all you want. Yay! I'll use my new powers to make them go bye-bye! Al's helping Dad make his dreams come true, right? <laughs> Help me all your dreams come true! She really is such a pure child. I don't know why you didn't use her. What a handy tool. So you were the one behind Al's rampages? Seriously? How rotten are you? People think you're a hero. The ultimate swordsman! This is how a demon should truly act. But demons these days care about feelings. What nonsense. That's not their true nature. What's so bad about having empathy? It's got nothing to do with being demonic. I've met so many kind and empathetic demons ever since I came to Hinamoto. Kindness is an excuse for weakness. Fuji was a rare sword talent, but he never reached his full potential after losing his mother. Risking your life to protect others? A spineless thought like that only makes you weak. That's why I used the demonic fist to curse Fuji with an aversion to empathy. It's my version of a father's love. <sighs> so how'd that work out for you? Have you finally developed proper demonic values? Like greed and ruthlessness? The future of demonity will keep declining if soft-hearted fools like Fuji are permitted to stay as they are. I'm putting my very heart and soul into restoring a Hinomoto thrust into strife, warfare, and frenzied chaos. Ha! <laughs> Another world thrust into chaos? If you were still in your soft-hearted phase, they'd cut you down on the spot. What are you talking about? I threw that useless naivete away long ago. Don't think I'm like you or Fuji. I've changed. Really? So why don't you tell me? What's next, now that you've become a picture-perfect demon? Peel off your opener disguise and expose your deceptions, or let your blood rust the tip of my spear. Make your decision. Neither. I've had my own plan from the very start. From the start? What do you think will happen if I use the Netherworld Network to announce that Opener is defeated and Hinomoto has been saved? Surely the Risen Ultimate Swordsman will be hailed as a hero and given complete power over the Shogunate. What the heck? That's the dumbest ending of all time! 
He's right. The walls have spears and the doors have spies. Everyone at Grim Jufu will help us reveal the truth. You won't win. <laughs> you mean the walls have ears and the doors have eyes. Anyway, she's right. Things won't go according to your plan. I'm not so sure the people of Grim Jufu will be much help. Owls already annihilated them. You're the only ones who know the truth. So, if you get rid of us, the truth about your manipulation of Opener will never come out. We won't let you take us out. I don't care if you are a hero. We'll beat you down before you get to us, Sleezoid! We can't defeat him quickly, and we're at a disadvantage in a prolonged battle. Our chances of winning, 1%. The only miscalculation in my plan is your existence. I had to move everything up once you started stealing the founding weapons. Huh, <laughs> I get it. You were supposed to destroy the Shogunate like a hero, but it got crushed first. That must have pissed you off. Hmm. <laughs> In his final moments, Opener sent the demonic sword to another netherworld. I didn't think it mattered. But this time, I won't leave anything to chance. No trace of you shall remain, and then I will create my ideal netherworld. Now then, you'll be returning the seven founding weapons to me. you down! Getting away. You're not getting away. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll take your cash and your life. Your raid will go unmarked. I'll take your cash and your life. How should we fight next? Should we add some rules to spice things up? He just keeps coming back to life after we defeat him! He's messing with us! That's not true, son. I said I wouldn't be careless, didn't I? This time, I'll break your spirit so that you won't be able to defy me ever again. That's very demonic, isn't it? Fuji's father, We're even more sadistic than he is. <sighs> How tedious, Mugai. You're scared, aren't you? It frightens you. The demonic sword that derailed your plans. The power of Kanzan Musashi. Mother. Oh, still breathing. Such absurd deductions aren't like you, Canon Line. My plan is perfect. There's no way one pathetic sword would make me waver now. Really? I'm not so sure. These kids are strong. Far stronger than you think. Mugai, descend into the depths of hell with me! That smell... You hid explosives on your person? It's only effective at short range. But can you survive a blast that not even Kurofune could withstand? You're going to blow yourself up? Mother, please don't! Perilica, listen carefully. All that's required for Mugai to curse you is to trust him and to look him in the eyes. Both your father and I were deceived by this man. That's why I want all of you to be careful. Goodbye, Perilica. Please take care of your father. Mother! A futile last-ditch effort. But as you can see, I'm still alive. She died in vain. Enough talk, scumbag. Now that I know you've truly rejected empathy, I'll read your last rites. I still remember when we fought to the death after you went on a rampage. It was after you lost Fuyo. Need a prayer? May God watch over you. I'll show you the way, dude! I still remember when we fought to the death after you went on a rampage. It was after you lost Fuyo. How did it feel to duel for three days and three nights in search of constant strength, Mugai? You used your dead wife's body and her soul to make a weapon! What have you gained from that? And I'll ask you, what's wrong with seeking strength? Didn't you feel anything when Master or Fuyo died, Higan? 
The foolish masses killed Master because of her kindness. And Fuyo sacrificed herself to save her beloved child. That weakness is in you, me, everyone. Feelings for other people only bring pain. Rejecting emotion prevents that. Of course, that's how you see it. You're kinder than anyone else I know. And you've experienced more pain, too. I know what it's like to be alone. But Master was the one who taught me about emotions. I can't let you disrespect that! A sword devoid of emotion can't cut me down! Stop trying to fight me without putting your heart into it! No! I only lost because I still feel emotion. I can't defeat the Demodor unless I throw it all away! Wait, Mugai? Mugai! It's all my fault. I wasn't able to stop you that day. We have been together through thick and thin. As atonement, I, Higan Zeshosai, shall be the one to cut you down, Mugai! Cannonline put her life on the line to save us, despite the curse you inflicted on her. This is in her honor! Wow! Incredible! Her soul has reached maximum resonation! Higon's overflowing with power! Mugai, at the very least I feel an obligation to kill you. I should have stopped you then. I regret not doing so. No matter how hard I tried to suppress my regret, it still pained me to even hold a sword. But... I won't waver now. My blade will surpass this world, Nirvana, and everything ever created! What? Even more power? I... am Tenjo Tenge Shinra Banshosai now! Mugai, you weakling! Take up your blade with your trembling hands! I'm gonna do my worst! to pierce my heart. You're unmatched, even with a spear. However, it's all pointless, Higan. Thanks to my powers of regeneration, it means nothing. I know. You've got an impressive life force, but do you really want to regenerate? Please, how pathetic. Unwilling to admit defeat! I pierced your heart with the demonic spear, Banji Tadakatsu. It warps time and space. I've stopped it at the moment I pierced you. No matter how many times you regenerate, the spear won't shift from your heart. It'll continue to tear through it. With every regeneration, the demonic spear will eat away at Mugai's life. What a nasty, endless attack. Is this one of those infinite combo things? Impressive of you to use my powers of regeneration against me. However... It can't be! He was able to pull out the spear through brute force? I would expect no less from you, Higa. Your strength is as brilliant as ever. 
There's no longer any need to hold back. I've got no choice. I'll have to take you on in my true form. He was just playing with us before! He's on a completely different level now. But we can't give up! The future of the Hinamoto Netherworlds is at stake! Hold up, Priscilla. We're exhausted from fighting. We don't stand a chance against him. I hate to admit it, but Fuji's right. We need to focus on getting home safely. I won't let you escape. No one is leaving here alive. His injury is slowing him down. Go ahead. I'll stay behind and keep him at bay. With Higon's help, the probability of successful evacuation is 87%. We cannot let this opportunity pass. Uh, understood. I guess we do need to regroup. Father. Mother. I will make sure to avenge you soon! We must get to safety while we still can. If we are captured this time, our chances of survival are zero percent. <laughs> Man, zero percent is no joke! Wait, that sound... What? 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 Some kind of announcement? It's a mass Netherworld Network broadcast. Who could it be during all this chaos? Citizens of the Hinomoto Netherworlds, I am Mugai, the ultimate swordsman. I faked my death years ago, but I've returned now. That bastard's already started to preach over the Netherworld network. But we're still on the run. Does that mean he doesn't plan on hunting us down? No, that's not it. I think he's trying to brainwash Hinamoto citizens with his lies, before branding us criminals. If he does that first, then... First and foremost, upon my return, I defeated Devador Opener, Ravager of the Hinomoto Netherworld! He and his puppet regime, which erased Bushido from Hinomoto, have both fallen by my hand. I have avenged the deaths of those who rebelled against the Demodor and died from government brutality. My countrymen, all who love Hinomoto, I swear to you that I shall take my place at the top and build a proud shogunate. He's shameless as hell! After blaming everything on Opener and the Shogunate, he wants to take control of the Netherworlds? He established a corrupt government, abducted citizens, and forced the Shogunate to be the villains. However, I have one concern. There are rebels who oppose my rule. They are currently on the run. These traitors plan to reinstate Opener, Thus, I ask you all to provide any information you may have. Fuji, Perilica, Yeyasu, C4, Higan, Suisen. If you find these six, capture them at once. What? He's turned us into fugitives after all. Not a single resident of the Hinomoto Netherworlds will listen to us now. Oh, hey! I found the fugitives that the broadcast was talking about! I gotta hurry and report back to Lord Mugai! Guess that means everyone's our enemy now. Great. I can just be a villain and do my worst! You sure about this?
I'm gonna do my worst! Getting away. I'm scared. Nice sweat. away. That broadcast changed everything in a flash. I can't party with the geishas anymore. Duh. There's surveillance everywhere. It'll be a tough job just leaving Slapporo. Wait, hold up. I sense someone rounding that corner. <laughs> it's like I'm a thief again. C4 skills can help us detect pursuers, but at this rate, it's only a matter of time before we're captured. If that happens, then... We'll probably be executed. He's got no reason to keep us alive. Or opener, for that matter. Keeping it in all this time. You don't have to hold back now. 
I've... I've worked so hard for so long to try and change the Shogunate. But in the blink of an eye, we're being treated like the bad guys. Even my dear father! He loved Hinamoto so much! Ugh. Stare. Uh, uh, oh, what's with you guys? Why are the three of you staring at me? You're worried about Perilica, aren't you? Come on, talk to her. Your dad was the one who hurt Perilica's parents. I bet you feel pretty bad about that, huh? Probability that Fuji wants to help Perilica? 100%. Knock it off! I don't care if Perico's upset. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I mean, we can't do anything about being fugitives. But I'll make sure Opener isn't executed. Even if I die, I'll see. Meek! <laughs> I don't want to lose you too, Fuji! Man, these kids sure are a handful. Come on! Stand up straight and tall! So all of Hinomoto hates us? Who cares? It's not like you did all of this to be popular, right? You just looked ahead and kept going. You followed your beliefs. Be proud of that. Keep your head up. Thank you very much, Higan. But my beliefs can no longer reach anyone. Think about it. You can't say for sure that everyone is following what Mugai is saying. Huh? Righteous actions are rewarded accordingly. She's right! We apologize for keeping you waiting so long! We're back! Spec Ops Angels! Spice! And sugar! Lost lambs, this is the hospital. Blessings be upon you. Where to, dude? Spice! Sugar! By order of the Archangel, we're here in the name of justice! We've come to save you with the Celestial Super Dimensional Teleporter. The Archangel dipped into the budget to make this meow. Oh? A celestial super-dimensional teleporter? Oh, it's a wonderful dream machine that allows you to instantly travel wherever you want! Whoa, so we can get out of here fast if we use that celestial duper-dimensional thing? Yep! However, the celestial super-dimensional teleporter uses a lot of energy to teleport people. We used it once to get here, so it'll take some time before we can use it again now. We'll do our best to buy some time. Ha! Ah, will you be able to, though? Big Bull, the Protection Magistrate? <laughs> the Shogunate's fallen, but you're still fugitives? You guys sure have a knack for that. I thought you were the Shogunate's loyal dog, but you've already switched sides? <laughs> You're worse than I am. Soldiers merely follow orders. I don't need to strain my brain thinking about anything else. You're much like how I once was. It was very nice to not have any concerns and follow orders without thinking. Hearing that hits home. I used to party every day so I could escape reality. If I hadn't met Perilica, I'd still be the same. We changed because of you, Perilica. No matter what happens, we'll always be on your side. Y you guys? Thank you so much! How futile! I won't allow you to escape, so you villains should play the part and let me capture you here! <laughs> if you want me to be the bad guy, I'll happily play the part. I'll do my worst and cut you down! Are you sure about this?
a general idea of the situation having seen the broadcast. You've been through quite the ordeal. To think you've been framed. I am rather relieved that you have all returned to the nether ship safely. I never thought the idiot mecha angel duo was gonna save us. That might be the last time though. They did say it would be difficult to offer us any more help directly. Celestia forbids them to meddle with netherworld problems. It's a miracle they took the risk to save us once already. We cannot rely on Celestia, and the Hinomoto netherworlds are full of enemies. Our situation is quite desperate. We've been bedayed by everyone! You mean we've been betrayed by everyone? Still, she's not wrong. We have no allies. Miss Perillica. How do you intend to approach this situation regarding your father? My father? What do you mean? Do you have an update for us? At the end of Mugai's statement, he announced that Opener's execution would be broadcast live. A public execution? N no! Father! So that's where we're at, huh? That public execution is pretty damn evil. I'm sure he's going to gather a large audience so he can cast his Empathy Killer curse. That's right. In order to cast his curse, he needs people to trust him and look into his eyes. That's what Cannon Line said. Damn it! That'll be a piece of cake for him, since they think he's a hero. It's as if Mugai was planning on creating an environment where he could convert all demons in the Hinomoto Netherworlds. I've made up my mind. I want you all to run far away and stay hidden. What? This began when my father visited the Hinamoto Netherworlds. The rest of you shouldn't have to be involved any further. I'll do something about his exa- Ow! What'd you hit me on the head for? Don't get the wrong idea, Priscilica. Huh? You don't want us to get caught up in it? <laughs> nice try. You're not weaseling out of my hundred million hell bodyguard fee that easily. I won't leave your side until the contract's done and I get paid, even if we make enemies of the entire universe. This isn't mercy, charity, kindness, or benevolence. Nothing nice, got it? It's a battle by me, for me. Fuji. That's right, Perilica. We've all got our reasons for fighting him, too. My brother and I need Mugai to tell us how to rescue those who've been turned into infernal treasures. I want to rescue all the Sardine World residents and stand up to Nitra. I'll do anything. Isn't my reason obvious? I have to prove that I'm the strongest. I'll fight Mugai no matter what. See? We're all going to fight Mugai. Even if you don't want us to get involved, Perilica. 
you guys. Thank you so much, really. Thank you. <laughs> this is what you call the power of friendship. When you're all sad and mopey, that makes us depressed too, Perilica. It's pretty ironic. Mugai always told me not to try to be a hero. He wanted me to abandon all empathy, like a true demon. But look at him now. He's treated like a hero, and we're the rebels he has to crush. <laughs> I don't mind being the villain. If Mugai's a hero, we've just got to do the very worst we can! An Udo Castle battle. The Shogun is an audience. Two swordsmen draw their arms in the presence of Shogun Yeyasu. Fuji, one of the swordsmen, looks like a ruffian, but on the inside, he's a softy who can't even ignore a stray kitten. His opponent? Iketani Gonzalez Saimontaro. He uses his sweet looks to charm opponents before shredding them to pieces. Iketani has suddenly shrunk. He now looks just like a cat curled up on a kotatsu table. The audience coos in delight. However, it is said that cats curling up on a kotatsu stems from a hunting position where they hide in a warm place to wait for prey. Iketani's stance isn't that of a pet cat's, but one that harkens back to their hunter's ancestry. That is how he appears to Fuji, a man who has lived his life by the sword. Taste the power of the Iketani secret technique, Kotatsu no Kiwami! Fuji senses that death is near, and yet, the emotion welling up within his heart is not fear, but sheer joy. I love that wickedness! <laughs> it's great! Next time on Fujigurui, final episode, Higan style Mumyo Sakaagari. Bushido is a death frenzy. Fuji! When are you going to stop her? This is all clearly a ripoff. I'm not stopping her. She'll kill me for sure. Is there something you want to say to me? Nope. nope. Let us now discuss Mugai's location. Opener was based in the Infernal Sanctuary. There is a 99% chance that Mugai is there too. And since he was behind everything Opener was doing, I guess it makes sense that he would be using the same base. The Sanctuary is inside a special dimension that can only be accessed by pouring a large amount of energy into the Convergence. Gut Purgence? Isn't that what Fuji does whenever he feels a positive emotion? Ugh, don't be gross. All I do is vomit blood. Yeah, but never mind that. The convergence is like, um, an energy portal. <laughs> As a Hinamoto otaku, I know all about this. It's a power spot. The best place to get spiritual energy in Hinamoto. Well, I know what those are. They show up in romantic fortune-telling books. But, but what, where exactly is this for? It's an Iudo castle. The castle was built above the portal in order to harness its energies. Wait, seriously? How come I didn't know? I'm the freaking Shogun! I'll scold my silly brother later. Our issue right now is how to harness the energy required to open the portal. According to my calculations, unless all seven founding weapons are collected, there will not be enough energy to open the gates. I get it now. That's why Perilica was trying to collect all of the weapons. Oh, wait, that means... That's right. As long as Mugai possesses the final founding weapon, the Demonic Fist, we can't enter the Infernal Sanctuary. Wait a second. If all that's true, why can Mugai come and go whenever he likes? The answer's simple. He's more powerful than all seven of the founding weapons combined. What the heck? 
You're telling me that piece of shit has more power than all seven of them? How strong is this guy? He absorbed energy from the sanctuary, as well as the souls of the people in Hinomoto. That's how he acquired his strength. I've got an idea. Oh, what is it, Fuji? Is it a good one? We need enough energy to make up for not having the seven founding weapons, right? The same way Mugai does. It's a pretty risky idea, but we've got a shot. Let's go to Udo Castle! Episode 13, the head of the 13 magistrates.